Hello, it's Jennifer from Sea Lemon. So I recently watched a BuzzFeed nifty video that was about college life hacks and I saw this pop-up pen organizer and I was kind of blown away by it. I even commented on the video and someone named Fatima said, you should make this. And I thought, you know what, Fatima, you're right. I should make this. You guys know that I am a pen addict and I have a lot of them. So I am always on the lookout for creative ways to organize them. And I'm really curious to see if this DIY works, how it functions, and if it will fit all of my extra pens. Okay, so I'm going to watch their tutorial on my phone right here and make this organizer. If you want to see the full tutorial, go check out the BuzzFeed Nifty video in the description below. I will also put it up here, one of these sides, up here in a card. And I tried my best to find all of the same supplies they used in their video. They don't list them in the description, so I kind of had to guess. But if you want to know the supplies that I'm using, I will put those in the description below as well. And before we jump into it, make sure you are subscribed to my channel, Sea Lemon. I make a new video every week, so be sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so you can be the first to get notified for when I post new videos. And let's get into this. All right, to start out, I got the wood canvas boards, which they use. The ones that they use have a white on top. I found those online, but they were more expensive, and I found these for $7 each, and they're just all wood, but they're pretty much the same. Next, the tutorial shows to use strong tape, and it doesn't say what kind, so I did a search online for strong tape, and this was the most popular to come up, Gorilla Tape. So. Just guessed, and maybe it's the same kind that they use in the video. And this roll was $11, so already with the three supplies I have going on here, it's a total of $18. And you probably could find a pretty nice pencil organizer for $18, so just take that into consideration if you decide to make this. But I'm gonna try to make this anyway, so let's do it. So it shows to take the wood canvas and tape them together using strong tape. The hinge doesn't let it open completely flat because it's not like perfectly flush together. Doesn't seem to fall apart. So pretty strong tape. And it looks like they use the uh, craft paper that you can find at hardware stores, the big roll of craft paper. I'm not going to use that. The accordion kind of arches like a rainbow and I thought it would be cool to make it colorful like a rainbow. I also thought it could work for organizing the pens in it. So maybe the orange pens can go in the orange section and so on. So this is letter size cardstock, which I already had. This is going to take me a while to cut out all of these. So I will be right back. As I was cutting these, I realized the eight and a half length is a little snug in the wood canvas. I think mine are just a little bit thicker than theirs. So just to be safe, I'm going to trim just a little tiny bit off the length. I will be right back again. <laughs> So the next step, they have you glue. I know this video is made for Facebook and Instagram. It's, that's why it's so fast and it's in a square, but this video is so fast. Slow down. It looks like they use Elmer's glue because it has the orange top. I don't have any around, surprisingly, so I'm going to use this tacky glue, which should work just as well. I think it's better to just watch the placement of the glue rather than try to explain it. And then you do three lines of glue on one piece, glue another down, and then do two lines of glue on the second piece, and so on and so on. It doesn't look like they exactly measure out the space in between the lines, so I'm just going to eyeball it. Ah, 
All right, I glued all 27 pieces of paper together in that accordion style with the different lines. Let it dry for 30 minutes. So I will let this thing dry for half an hour and I'm gonna go play with Kona while I wait. Okay, let's see how this thing looks. In the video, they spread it apart. I don't even wanna make the pen holder anymore. I just wanna play with this. This could turn into like some other kind of DIY project. It's almost like one of those party favor decoration things. Next, it shows to put glue, hot glue in the back of it with an X kind of pattern and glue it in the center of the canvas. Don't you hate that when you run out of hot glue right when you are using it? Quickly flip it over, put it in the center. See if I can stretch this all the way over. It's supposed to stretch, but they made it look a lot easier than it is. Everything sped up always looks easier than it really is. In reality, first I need to load the glue gun with a new glue stick. Glue sticks, where are you? Back with a glue stick. Here we go. I need to put the same glue pattern here, just a square and an X on this side, because that's how they show they do it. I'm trying to work fast before the glue dries, because it dries fast. How do I get this over without burning my fingers? This isn't gonna be perfectly centered. It's kind of like NBC, <laughs> except the wrong colors. Hashtag not sponsored by NBC. It shows to put Velcro on the sides. So I don't have the rectangle Velcro kind. I have the round, which I think should work fine. If I had to do it again, I think I would maybe spread out the colors because there's no way my red pens are going to reach the red in there on that side. Currently, my extra pens are, um, as you can see, organized but with rubber bands. <laughs> I need to make more pen organizers, the ones that you see behind me. So for now, they're in bands and I'm going to see if I can somehow organize them into this thing. So if you do try this thing, I would make the colors a little bit closer together and less um, gradient, gradiented out. My standard size pen seemed to fit fine in here, but I don't think the, like if you have longer pens, like Tombow pens, I don't know, they're not, it's a little too short. You would have to get a larger canvas size. And then for colored pencils, I think those fit fine. And now the part I'm really curious about is to see how it closes and opens. So let's go for it. That, <laughs> this, this is not going to fit this many pens. So I was a little bit ambitious on how many pens to fit in. They fit fine if you'd like to display them like this. I think that would look cool, but it's definitely not going to close with all of those in it. Okay, let's take some out and see what it takes to close this thing. Maybe let's go one pen per pocket. Nope, still doesn't want to close. Or maybe you're only supposed to put the pens in the center pockets. I don't know how they, I don't know how they planned on this working. Clearly, I can't have a pen in each center pocket. They just don't want, it doesn't want to close. I alternated the pockets. See, okay, that closes. All right, I figured it out. You can't have a pen in each pocket, basically. So you have to alternate the pockets. So every other pocket should be without a pen. 
in, in order to close this thing. Or you can have one side have a lot of pens and then the other not many pens at all in order to close this thing. Sometimes you can close it and <laughs> Other times, if they shift around in a different way, you can't as well. And if you did use this as a case, I would recommend putting a couple more Velcro pieces along it and maybe something on the edge, which makes it easier to open and close for your fingers. Before I made this, I honestly thought that when you would close and open this, the pens would just come flying out, but they really don't. So it does work if you only have like a few pens inside of it and you know they they actually don't move around that much my opinion i think this looks better and works better when it's left open so maybe it's more of a display for your pens and pencils it also organizes them when it's open so it still functions it's just not as uh, easy to open and close but i still think it just looks better as a display on your tabletop or shelf when it's like this, fanned open. Especially if you decide to go with the rainbow effect like I did, a very pleasing way to display your pens and organize them into different pockets. What are those things called? Lazy Susan. You could put this on a Lazy Susan or some kind of thing and spin it around. Let me know if you would try something different with this, how you would put your own spin on it in the comments below. Let me know what you think. And again, if you're interested in making this, I'll put the full tutorial from BuzzFeed in the description below to go check that out. And if there's something else on the internet that you guys have seen a project that you'd like to try, let me know in the comments below and maybe I'll try to recreate it and put my own spin on it. Let me know if you want to see that on this channel in the comments and hit that like button. Special shout out to my patrons. Thank you for helping me and supporting this channel. If you want to become a patron, go check out my Patreon page. I will put the link down below. And if you want to support this channel on YouTube, just click that join button that's on my channel and you can see all the details of the membership on YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so you can be the first to get notified when I post new videos you don't want to miss any of my videos because I upload something new every week. I will put that around here along with my Patreon link and you can check out more related videos right here. I will put all of these links in the description below along with more information and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!